Hey y'all, I'm Mandy. This is Look Red Tarot. So I already started pulling cards for y'all. I posted a short somewhere else. You know, y'all might have seen it, maybe not. But if so, I'm trying to get y'all from those other places to come over here and watch the full readings. If you do, put a comment that you came from the short on the other place. Okay, so what I'm getting though is that you could be dealing with somebody who are here who's very inconsistent in some kind of way. They've been inconsistent. But the main issue here is that um, this person has been dealing with some kind of a karmic third party situation with this three of swords and this knight of pentacles here. It's like this person was distracted. Okay. Um, they could have went through some kind of heartbreak here with this third party. Uh, 73 or 37 could be significant. We got a five here. Five, three, seven. Okay, so then we got the Hame Muse, the Hermit, Pisces, uh, Virgo Energy, Sagittarius, Capricorn with the Devil. So there's some kind of, like I was getting this harvest time coming in because I got the harvest card um, from the Mystical Shaman deck. Well, the Gatherer, okay, which is about harvest. Then we got the curse. So what I was saying in that short was to, now is the time to keep your eyes open and your mouth shut because... There's some kind of conflict going on here. You're not going to be told what it is, okay? That's what I'm getting here. And I'm getting don't be, you know, shaking, rocking the boat too much at this time. Just observe. Get yourself together, okay? And if it's, if there's a, if it's a situation where you want to stay with this person, even, you know, whatever's been going on here with them and this third-party situation, which could be about work or it could have something to do with a co-worker or something like that. That's been coming up a lot lately. It don't have to. Uh, for everybody, of course, but it's like either friend, co-worker, or something like that. That's what the third party keeps, keeps coming up as. So, the thing is, um, it's like either you got to forgive this person or, like I said, get yourself together. Get yourself together to, you know, do whatever your next move is going to be. I got the toe card coming out observe for those who watch see all this toad could be significant frogs for me mean don't give up if you've ever heard the story about the two frogs in the bucket of milk you know they fall in the bucket of milk and if y'all been watching me a while you've already heard this story like 50 times <laughs> but if you haven't let me tell it again real quick they fall in the bucket you know one swimming around freaking out panicking and that frog drowns the other frog keeps swimming keeps swimming just keeps swimming didn't give up and before they knew it, I don't know how long it took, but, you know, whenever they, at some point, they were sitting on a pile of butter. And so they just jumped out the bucket. So if they wouldn't, if they would have gave up, they would have been too, but they didn't give up. Okay, so we got Harvest Witch with the Six of Wands, which what I'm getting here, though, is also, you're very abundant. This could be a very abundant situation. Somebody that you really do love and care about here for some of y'all. Not everybody. I mean, some of y'all are just sick of the shit and ready to move on with this Eight of Cups here. Breath work. Allow your breath to expand your spirit and fill your heart. Don't let this person's, you know, shenanigans or whatever the case may be close off your heart chakra, okay? Something could happen around autumn equinox of this last year, 333 on the clock. Uh, so you now what I'm going to do, because this autumn card keeps coming out, I was telling y'all yesterday that um, I switched over phones. And so I've got all these videos in my iCloud from like a year, like tons of readings. And um, so what I'm going to do is go back and post some, of the, get some of the readings because I'm getting told like exact times and dates. So this, whatever this was that was going on could have been happening during that time or started during that time or for some of y'all. So me uh, uploading some of the, some of you guys may have already seen some of the readings I'm going to upload and others of you who are new to the um, page or channel, you haven't seen them yet. This is just going to, this is going to be on Facebook. So Keep an eye out for that if you're new. If you've been following me for a while and you've been watching most of the readings, you probably already saw them. But it could give you clarification when you see the readings from last fall of something that was probably going on at that time that maybe you're just now, you know, realizing or something. We do got the sun and the moon here on this card. These cards are so beautiful. This is the Seasons of the Witch Oracle. You can get this from my shop on the uh, TT place. Okay. <laughs> If you mention another place on here or so, they're not going, you know, they don't like that. So let's just keep with the rules and the guidelines here. So 
autumn equinox you could be in an um interracial connection you don't have to be you could be biracial butterflies moths could be significant apples and there's a rabbit down there somebody went down a rabbit hole <laughs> okay but with the sun and the moon here leo uh pisces cancer energy this is like a um it's like a divine counterpart connection or with the, the masculine and feminine energy. Like I said, you know, this choice is up to yours um, on forgiveness. There could be forgiveness needed on both sides here. Because I got the devil card twice here. <clears throat> but the main the main thing in this these cards was this over here. Now, this one's kind of creepy, though. Look at this. Witch's Rosary, craft your skills with intentions, repeated a practice of magic powered by purpose. And the card that came out here with this one, talking about um, magic intentions, okay? The dang devil card coming out, okay? It's like this person, it's like either this person wants you bound to them. They could have did some kind of binding spell. Um, I was like, let me get my notes because I did take some notes here, y'all. So... Okay, you could be dealing with two magicians. Uh, one could be an evil warlock under the guidance of the devil, pride, ego, greed, etc. One of these magicians wanted to turn you against the other one possibly. Now, y'all, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Don't make nothing fit. This should just be for confirmational things you've already been thinking, feeling, things like that. Okay, and don't ever make any decisions, actions, or anything like that based on a general tarot reading, please. Okay, but I got binding spell, mirror magic, uh, to affect your looks. One is you looking old, gaining weight, depressed, low self-esteem. It's harvest time with these, like, negative intentions, okay? They could have just left you alone. <laughs> they could have just left you alone if they wanted to, you know, if they had this much anger and hatred in their heart for you, they could have just left you alone. It's like this person thought they were going to serve you some kind of karma, but the thing is, this person is not god you know what i'm <laughs> they're being guided by the damn devil okay so or devil energy if y'all know what i'm saying okay i was also hearing sirens as i was taking these notes a couple of times um everything they wished on you is coming to them at this time things could be going weird in their life right now things could be going on at work with their health all kind of things like that this person has really no conscience or guilt that's what i'm getting because i did get the ten of wands in reverse and that's why I was saying it don't, It doesn't, for who this message is for, because some of y'all could be in a good relationship where you're just having a little problems, okay? Maybe somebody did make some mistakes. Maybe you made some mistakes. Maybe y'all could get through this. Um, take a leap of faith and try again with the situation, okay? But some of y'all are dealing with somebody who really, <laughs> you're going to end up wanting to walk away from them, some of y'all. Okay, so this person has no conscience or guilt. Stop trying to get the truth out of this. A narcissist is not going to happen. Get yourself together. That was the channel messages that I was getting a while ago. I'm going to start writing down the channel because I be forgetting them, y'all. So we got the world here. Something came to an end possibly here. A cycle came to an end possibly with a Queen of Wands energy. Or maybe they're just now entering a cycle with a Queen of Wands energy, Okay. With this temperance card, it's like, what I'm getting more is that if something is coming into balance. So, yeah, this person is, like I said, what I kept getting is they're, whatever they did, they don't feel bad about it. So, they damn sure ain't going to tell you about it. Because why would they? They don't feel bad about it. You have, to, you have to have some kind of conscience or feel bad about something to want to explain yourself, okay? So, we got this Eight of Pentacles with the moon here giving more like magic energy another thing i'm getting like okay with this king of cups is there could be someone who is um there's two masculine energies coming up here okay uh somebody it's like somebody putting some roots i'm seeing roots here okay moon magic there today is i believe today is a new moon uh, if I'm not mistaken, y'all look it up though. Cause I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is though. So they broke your heart. <laughs> Fuck me. <them. laughs> Stop obsessing. That could be what the devil card is about. You are not the center of the universe, which maybe that's kind of giving me that could be what they think with that devil energy. Okay. Either way, some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues mess it up. All right. We got lightning here. Figure it out on your own. 
<clears throat> which if you're in a relationship figuring things out on your own uh at a certain point you know gets old so again like i said we got the gatherer this person been gathering up a lot of um Wow, this is some crazy energy right here. Number 21, 14, 56 could be significant. That's number 11, 5, 3. Okay, so I also got some um, some from the Red Bowl bucket, whatever you want to call it. So I got soft, soft skin. Somebody could have soft skin. Um, stalking your social media. Somebody could be checking up on your social media. Okay. Wanting to express their feelings. So, I am picking up on two different energies here. So, there could be a... <clears throat> I'm not sure. You know, it could be two people who are very similar, to be honest. Or, it could be two people... I, oh, my God. I, the devil is here three times. I just saw I just thought, saw it twice at first. So, we got this one. This one. And this one. That's a lot of Capricorn energy. Okay, somebody thinks you got nice lips, but they think you're closed off to them, or somebody's closed off from somebody. Wish granted. Somebody's wish is going to be granted here. I don't know if it's yours or somebody else. Somebody loves your personality. So it's like, although you may be isolated and feeling bad about certain things, a lot of people love you, okay? Darkness falls within you, live the hidden, the things that want nothing more than to swallow you whole. That is an interesting... These cards are so cool. Again, this is that Seasons of the Witch deck. Look at the... Look at the back and the... Um, and they're, they're thick too and not too big for y'all who like to um, read tarot. Protect your energy. I would definitely say that with all this devil energy out here. Okay. You got some heavy um, uh, chemistry with somebody here. Okay. Divine soul connection. You do have a divine soul connection here with somebody. Gray car could be significant. Uh, they don't want to change. They just want you to think they have. So, with the, with the little flashcards, y'all, just keep in mind that some could resonate. All of them probably won't. Maybe one or two will. Maybe none of them will. You know, just don't make nothing fit, okay? When you're watching general tarot readings, please just let them be entertainment. Like, serious, serious general hospital days of our lives type stuff. Anybody who's got a personal reading, you'll know <coughs> that... Though, now, some with my readings, though, um, <clears throat> what'll happen when I do a personal for somebody, like the day before, day after, things like that. Like when we've had a conversation, you've sent your payment over. Sometimes if I, if it takes me a couple of days to get around to doing your reading, depending on what my schedule is looking like or how many people are ahead of you, uh, <laughs> there's definitely going to be messages coming through the general readings too that are going to be for you. So any of y'all who get a personal, keep that in mind. Okay, so also there is a post. If you got anybody who's wanting a personal, y'all can now message me about the personals. If you want to, before you message me, if you want to check out the process, there's a reel I posted um, to a folder called uh, Information on Personal Readings. If anybody is interested. All right, I'm opening back up for a minute. All right, we got, they are greedy because they're, um, they're kind of draining, you guys. So, I'm going to do my best and keep them open for as long as I can. Gas station. Something about a gas station could be significant. Somebody could have streaks in their hair. Immature. Let me put this up. Oh, shit. Let me put this over here so I can just throw these back in here. Try to clean it up as I go. Something about August could be significant. Now, back to the fall again. Uh, the fall equinox or... Did it say autumn equinox or whatever it said on that card? Um, I looked it up, and this year it's going to be on September 22nd, I believe. And last year, I think it was on the 23rd. So, September 22nd or 23rd or around the autumn equinox or fall equinox, whatever the case is, could be significant. The initial D could be significant. Number 15, breaking down to a 6. Success. Number 12, breaking down to a 3. Collaborations. Somebody's cousin could be significant. Somebody is trauma bonded, okay? Past life. This could be what this devil in Eight of Wands is about. I mean, Eight of Swords is about. Somebody could be a Sagittarius since I said Eight of Wands. 
one year, something about a year could be coming up. That could be some kind of anniversary. Somebody could be having problems with their voice or somebody's attracted to your voice. Okay, somebody thinks you're cute. Babies and little kids stare at you. <laughs> okay, you could be a Taurus. Something about a house or your stability. You could be getting a house. Virgo energy here. So heavy, heavy on the earth sign energy. Some you got a soulmate out here. It could be this person. You know there is at least two people here. Somebody's been being mis mischievous, and that's what this um, devil energy is looking like. All right, <laughs> we got the letter U. Somebody could have dreads. Somebody was a lover here. Okay, custody situation. One of these people, or you could be going through a custody situation. A ball head could be significant. Number 55, breaking down to a 10. The letter S, something could have ended here recently. Aries could be significant. The letter M or W could be significant. Or G. Okay, and then I just dropped something. Hold on. Truck. Something about a truck, trucks, something like that. Okay. And something about um, inconsistent, something about work changes coming up for somebody, okay? So, that's what I got for y'all on this one. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, that's it. Anything else, we'll just go into it on the next one. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.